I'm like weirdly embarrassed to sing this. I don't know. I sang this outside of work the other night. But for some reason, I'm having this weird thing with my throat where it hates me and I hate my own voice. And I just, you know, every time I open my mouth, I want to die. I'm sure there's a lot of people like that. Like, I'm sure, like, Getty Lee got up on a stage and sung the first time and he probably cried. <laughs> like, he probably cried and felt like everyone was going to beat him up. And, you know, when he got all the the newspaper reviews saying he sounded like a cat, like a cat being raped to death and shit like that. Maybe not that severe, but some pretty ridiculous stuff people compared his voice to. Sorry, I'm just fucking around with the strings there. But I'm sure not everybody who ended up having, like, you know, a voice that was accepted heard their own voice and was like, anybody else should ever hear that. But this isn't a song by Rush. I can't play, like, any songs by Rush because they're in, Alex Lyson is a genius. Because Neil Peart is a genius, I can barely even sing some of their songs. Um, this is a song by David Bowie. The song's called Moon Age Daydream, and it's one of my dad's favorite songs. So maybe I'll play this for my dad or something. You know, one of those cop-outs. Instead of getting someone a present, you just play them a song you like, they like. Not a song you like, a song they like, but I like this song too. I did that for my mother because she really, really likes the Elton John song, Daniel, and she she thought it was the greatest present ever. She's one of those moms where, don't give me a present, I just want, I just want you to say happy holidays or, you know, Merry Christmas and, and happy birthday and I love you, mom. Go say I love you to your mom right now. Unless she beats you or something and then don't do that, don't, don't go back to her. This is a bit of a tangent, but anyway, this is Moon Age Daydream. I practiced this a lot, but I'm still looking at my phone in front of me just in case. You know, I, I, I don't trust myself, really, when I'm looking into the beady eyes of the camera. Sometimes it's like my soul is being sucked out. <clears throat> I'm an alligator. I'm a mama papa coming for you I'm a space invader I'll be a rock and rolling bitch for you So keep your mouth shut You're squawking like a pink monkey bird And I'm busting out my brains for the sucking <laughs> so bad I'm sorry keep your electric eye on me babe and put your ray gun to my Hello. 
most of my love Freak out in a moon age daydream Oh yeah Keep your electric eye on me, babe Put your Freak out in a moon age daydream, oh I wish I had a accurate grasp of a saxophone because there's a saxophone over there and I could fucking bust up that saxophone right now and just be like, brilliant! <laughs> fucking go totally Bowie on the saxophone, but I can't do that. So maybe in an alternate universe somewhere, this mini, this video is like two or three minutes longer and it's just a, a thousand times more badass because there is a saxophone, but I, there's a lot of buttons on that thing. A lot of buttons. <laughs> I got a clarinet the other day, and then, and then Steven Hillenburg passed away, and now I feel so obligated to learn to play the clarinet and to be a Squidward in real life. So that's what I'm doing. I've taken up the clarinet, and I guess the saxophone has to fall to the wayside. It's an old saxophone that no one has ever played. No one ever. It's just a saxophone that floats around, doesn't get played. The poor fucking thing.